Good morning. This is Gokio Shatoba from uh, Football Leagues. It's been a while. We've been very busy uh, with uh, football. And uh, again, the transfer window, we're trying to make life better for Nigerian footballers and to make everything good for the country. Um, I'm not going to speak long today, but it's going to be precise. There are a lot of nonsense happening in Nigerian football now. And I think I have to... Uh, they said if the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? So we have to go back to where some of these things happened. Now, there's a problem. There's supposed to be election. Some people don't want the elections to hold and they are trying to bring in third time. When did we start with third time in football? Why all this nonsense? You understand? Now, I'll go back to the beginning. Then a lot of people will understand that the things are not even supposed to be the way it is. During, before Amadou Penic came in, he was not even a contender. The anoint, the person everybody was backing was Malam Sheudiko. And at that time, Giwa was trying to disturb Nigerian football. We fought him. We, the stakeholders, at some point we were accused, we were threatened with arrest and all that. But we defeated him with late Chief Ogunjobi. Then an election was supposed to hold. Then all of a sudden, they, they started harassing Shewudiko and uh, they picking up, picking him up today, picking up tomorrow. We got court injunctions. Then he said they were taking the election to worry. I said, don't take it to worry. I told him. He said, no, no, there's no problem that all, all the stakeholders are behind him. But trust Nigerian politicians, whether they're in football or anywhere, they're the same. On the day before the election, or two days before the election, Shea Utiko was abducted by the Joint Tax Force. They said the, the, the court order has no power over them. And that's how Shea Utiko was abducted and we didn't know his whereabouts. Now, people were now in worry. Where are the aspirants? That's when people like uh, Pinnick came out. Then, the sad thing about the whole thing is that everybody had already made up their mind who we were going to vote for. But there was a clandestine move at night. Most of the people, and I can say it, if you, have, if you are annoyed with me, let's meet in court. They took 33 million to vote for the winner of the election. Even people loyal to Shea Udiko betrayed him. That is where the problem of Nigerian football started from. And until we get things right, until we start doing things, if the election was rigged, there was abduction, there was gangsterism. We, we are not in Mexico, this is not Colombia. This is football. I'm not afraid of anybody, as I always say. And if you don't stop all this nonsense, you are making a mockery of our football. You can see uh, the Falcons losing on their first match. Things are not being done well. Somebody is, everybody knows that the Congress is, is the most powerful thing. You are daring the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You are abusing the minister. Who are you? If you are, if you know you are, you are really intelligent, I will advise you to step down and let that election take place. May the Lord open our eyes to the truth. Thank you very much. This is a very pensive moment. Sorry about all the things happening in the country. I only talk football here, but let's pray for Nigeria with all the nonsense of the Kuji blasts. An attack on the president's convoy. May the, may the Lord continue to protect us. Goodbye and have a lovely day.